Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Theo here. On today's video, I'm going to show you how many things you can pack on the Cayman S behind me. Let's pretend that you're taking a trip for two, for like a week or a weekend, get away and planning to fit your car with items. What can you take on a trip that can fit on the Cayman? So let's go. If you are new to the channel, this is my 2014 Cayman S. I have mod this car for the past two years. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how many things can fit onto the car. Now, for those who don't know, the Cayman has a front trunk and it has a little bit of space on the back too. So that's about one of the best things you can have when it comes to a mid-size engine. Because most of them will have either the trunk or either the trunk on the back and you won't be able to fit as much stuff as you can fit on this car now if this is the first time you stop by the channel make sure that you subscribe by pressing the subscribe button right there and also like this video so that you know my content can be seen by so many people without further ado let me go ahead and open the front so you can see all the things that i have in there so we go ahead now and press the button i'm going to put the key away there you go now, these are the items that I have here right now. So let's go ahead and take them out. So I have one carry-on bag that you can fit in there. Actually, let me take this coat out first. That's one coat. I'm gonna put it out in a minute. I have this toolbox that I really did not have to pack. But imagine you have like a little things like booty size that can fit. So you have that. I can put that right here on the floor. Now I can take my one pair of carry-on bag I put it like right here for you then I have one other coat that I have here another coat that I have right here I have one backpack I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here another carry-on cases that I have I'm just gonna put it right here just so that you can remember everything that I took out let me just put these coats you know right here so you can see so that's one that's the second and these are heavy coats if you look these are really really heavy coats and this is the third one that you can have and this is only the front yes it is true i didn't really have to pack the toolbox but imagine you have something that can fit that size now let's go to the back so you can see what i have packed on the back so i'm gonna go ahead and press the back here let's open it Now on the back here, again, another heavy jacket here. In my mind, look at this. This is huge, huge jacket here. So let's go ahead and put it right here. Just so that you can see, I have one more carry-on case right here that you can fit on that little compartment. And let's say you're traveling with a lady and she want to pack an extra in a bag. You have one right here, although you have to keep it kind of light for it to fit on the back there. Now, again, these are only the items that are placed in the front and the trunk. You still have space on the inside behind the seats. On the inside here, you can put another, you know, maybe briefcase or book bag behind the seats. Now, if you're short like me, I'm five foot seven, you will have this much space on the back, but if you are tall, you might not have any more space on the back here. Now, if you come, if you come behind here, this area here on top, you can easily put maybe other items, but the reason I don't recommend using this is because this is gonna block your, visib your rear visibility. Because if I close this, you're going to see that the back here, if you put stuff here, you won't be able to see on the back. This wing is already a, an obstacle when you look on the back. So adding more items here on top, it's going to make it difficult. What do we have here in conclusion? Three suitcases, carry-on bags. That should be plenty enough for two people. Some jackets, you can replace jacket with, you know, extra stuff. It's just because those are the items that I had on hand. You know, one book bag, you can put another book bag inside the car, a little briefcase maybe, if you have one small like that. All of those fit in here perfectly. Now, 
name me another car where you have first a frunk and a trunk that is mid-size you don't have many cars that can do that are practical like this now again yes if you have an suv or if you have any other car you can fit more things i'm just talking about two doors mid-engine where you can fit this much stuff so you saw that i was able to fit all these things on the back on the front of my cayman s what do you think did you expect less items or more items into the cayman right here now if you have any other way that you can fit more things here please drop in a comment let me know so that i can also learn because i wish i could fit more things there maybe a, a larger bag so i can fit more clothes you know i'm a guy that when i travel with myself i can have as much bag even for just a week yes trust me black people sometimes we tend to dress up a little bit but if you travel with your significant other show the person this video that can convince he or she to take this type of car on a nice adventure on a nice trip get away you don't always have to drive boring cars whenever you're going on a trip rent one of these cars on churro or any other site that is out there that can provide you this car if you don't own one and then experience it these cars are nice german engineering and really you know they provide you the greatest joy whenever you drive them they are not meant to be you know garage queen like that so make sure that if you have one that you enjoy it to the fullest also by you know using it on the practical days not just on the track even on a day-to-day -day commute use them now i hope this video was somehow beneficial for you if it was please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel so that the algorithm can help other people see this content my name is theo thank you for watching see you on the next video bye bye